Well, I hope we can do everything necessary to support the arts industry. I mean, I completely recognise the points that Jamie is raising. Obviously, performing arts, live events have been uh, hit just so hard by the pandemic because obviously you can't have people uh, crammed together in, in live venues, as indeed we're discovering this evening as we do this programme from our um, spare bedrooms <laughs> and living rooms, uh, the length and breadth of the, uh, of the United Kingdom. Um, so they do obviously need support. Um, quite a lot's been done already. Um, there's a £1.57 billion culture recovery fund to give grants to um, organisations that need it, um, arts and heritage organisations, uh, and so on and so forth. So that is, that, is, that is happening already. I think about two thirds of that money has been allocated. And for people who are self-employed, the questioner mentioned sort of freelance people who work in the supply chain. Uh, and of course, the self-employed support scheme um, covering 80% of people's trading profits um, has been extended until April. So that is available for most um, freelancers and contractors. Um, but I suspect an industry like live performing arts does have um, particular challenges for the reasons that are obvious. Um, we hugely value it as a sector. It's one of the United Kingdom's proudest um, things, our, our vibrant culture, our vibrant performing mm -hmm. sector. And I know the culture secretary is very alive to that. And I, I know he'll be closely in touch with Jamie and Jamie's colleagues um, to try and make sure that the industry continues to be supported and can have a flourishing and powerful recovery um, once this, uh, this coronavirus episode is behind us.